The virus is claiming more lives every day and separating people at a time of heartbreaking loss. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russo spoke to a family grieving the death of a special woman who taught them to be community servants. This is a picture of Sarah Piles from Highland Park. Even at 86 years old, her family said she was active, traveling, volunteering, and going to church. Her daughter-in-law, Debbie, son, Jeff, and granddaughter, Tara, spoke to me about her. My mom was an am amazing, amazing mother, um, mother of five. You just felt at home around her and, and loved. She loved so hard. It's possible that the fact she was so loving and people loved to be around her made Sarah Piles vulnerable to COVID-19. You see, her family says she was a missionary with the Church of God in Christ, and she went to a convention in Detroit for church members early in March. During that convention, it is believed that the virus spread, infecting bishops, pastors, and members of the church. Wherever she was, people swarmed around her. They hugged her. They loved on her because she loved so incredibly. This is a picture of Jeff standing outside his mom's hospital room at Taylor Beaumont. He could not be around his mom. He made signs the nurses read to her. He sang as loud as he could her favorite song, sung here by Ron and Cece Wines. The Lord is thy keeper. The, the song is called My Help. And um, I was singing that through the window and the nurses would tell me, your mom, she hears you. She moved. She made a movement. Um, so that was a blessing to me. It's a blessing he has held on to as he grieved at a funeral home almost alone with his daughter on FaceTime as he watched his mom's burial from a distance, unable to be at the graveside because she died of the highly contagious virus. In honor of this, by all accounts, incredible woman, this family has a message. Inconveniences don't compare to a loss of life. It affects so many more people than we realize. So just please stay home and don't be selfish. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Wow, such a difficult time for so many families. Thank you, Kim.